Shock the Chiefs 24 to 9. Denver's first win over Kansas City since 2015. The Jets outlasted the Giants 13 to 10 in overtime in the Battle of New York. Jets kicker Greg Zerline hitting a game tying field goal at the end of regulation and won it with a 33 yard field goal in overtime. Joe Burrow tossed for three scores as the Bengals handed the 49ers their third straight loss 31 to 17. Jalen Hurts threw four touchdown passes as the Eagles beat the Commanders 38 to 31. Eagles now seven and one. Will Levis tied an NFL record with four touchdown passes in his first career game as the Titans beat the Falcons 28 to 23. The Vikings fear quarterback Kirk Cousins suffered a season ending torn Achilles in their 24 to 10 win over the Packers, according to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. With your choice of select sandwich, nugs, fries, and a drink, Wendy's $5 Biggie Bag is your go-to. Your nugget wingman. Your hot and crispy fry co-pilot. Just like us. We're like the bag boys. What? Bag boys, bag boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when we bring your food? <sighs> For a deal you can count on, bet on Biggie and choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Bag boys, bag boys. U.S. price participation may vary. Includes choice of JVC or crispy chicken sandwich with four-piece nugs, junior fry, and small soft drink. Third-party delivery pricing may be higher. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial grade supplies for every industry with same day pickup and next day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call quickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Well, it is a Monday, 30th day of October, 2023. I'm Carol. In the newsroom is Gene. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. I see you are already dressed for Halloween. You're going to get an early start? Well, I usually always do. Um, you know, I want to dress uh, for the occasion. So Sure. So okay. I've scared quite a few people this morning. Yeah. Oh, well, and uh, no doubt you scored a couple of Kit Kats and uh, Reese's uh, peanut oh, butter yeah. cups. Oh, Reese's. Yeah. My favorite. Okay. Well, that is the uh, number one candy uh, for Halloween. Is it really? Yeah. All right. Well, I didn't know that. I learned something every morning. Yeah, well, the uh, you know, stick around. We'll we'll teach you all sorts of things. Anyway, uh, Reese's peanut butter cups number one. Um, number two is Snickers. Okay. okay. Number three, M and M's. Number four, Kit Kat, and number five, Skittles. Skittles. Okay. So there you go. Now you know what to pass out, right? Yeah. Of course, if you've already bought your candy, which most people have, then you can just go and whatever they have, you have. Yeah. And, and that's it. Uh, if it's like uh, at our house, you bought your candy early and you ate it all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's a whole nother problem that we won't discuss today. Yeah. Anyway, we... Uh, uh, we'll have to run out and uh, buy a, a little bit more, I suppose. So, um, anyway, had an interesting uh, situation Saturday. Okay, uh, I uh, I have bird feeders in the backyard, and also uh, a uh, a bird bath. Okay, the bird bath is a more recent addition, and uh, it's really neat because um, the birds really like it. Kind of, I won't say I was surprised, but um, anyway, there was one of the neighborhood cats and a red-tailed hawk mm. in the backyard. And I am assuming the red-tailed hawk went after the cat and missed, and the cat kind of turned around on it because they were face to face on the ground. Every so often, the uh, cat would reach over and bat the uh, the hawk, mm -hmm. and the hawk would uh, jump a little bit towards the cat. But it, it uh, uh, neither one apparently was hurt. 
because after about 10 minutes, the, uh, the hawk flew away. I, I think maybe their pride was hurt. Yeah, I, it may be, but um, a, a, as I said, the uh, um, I, I don't, I have not seen the hawk on the ground other than when it grabs a bird, which it does fairly often in the neighborhood. But um, anyway, so I'm assuming the hawk went after the cat. I think you're, that was a good assumption. Yeah. Of course, you'd need to get up in that tree where that bird is and take a closer look. Yeah, I'd yeah, or a closer look at the cat and see what kind of. Yeah, you know, yeah. try both of them. Uh, yeah. That's who got the worst of it? Anyway, it was just kind of interesting. Uh, the Nature Channel playing out in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have that happen ever so often. Yes. Are uh, you ready for uh, birthdays? Birthdays. Yeah, we should have them right now. Okay. Uh, big Shot Birthdays. Songwriter Eddie Holland of Holland Dozier Holland, 84. Grace Slick, 84. Singer Otis Williams of The Temptations, 82. The Fawns. Actor Henry Winkler, 78. Timothy B. Schmidt of The Eagles is 76. And actor Charles Martin Smith of American Graffiti fame, 70. Actor Michael Beach, 60. Actor Matthew Morrison is 45. Actor Sean Sippos, 42. Actor Tasso Feldman, 40. Actor Janelle Parrish, 35. Actor Kennedy McMahon, 27. How about a bunch of local birthdays? Uh, Let's celebrate Susan Duarte, Veronica Rios, Anita Salgado, Gracie Ortiz, Roberto Trujillo, Alexa Mendoza, Noe Vasquez, Melissa Chavaria, Bosco Richmond, Lindsay Dale, Sergio Pesquera, Cynthia Lizarga, Erin Gabriel Diaz, Kara Laguerra, Alicia Garcia, Stevie Rangel, Richard Wilson, Esther Rivera, Tori Hunt, Sharon Everett, Bree and Gage Cox, Bruno Herzog, Charlene Estabillo, David Ellis, Diana Moreno Inman, Enrique Payares, Eric Cox, Gordon Belt, Jason Burden, Kaylin McFadden, Myrna Mannix, Nancy Hamilton, Sam Teas, Martha Alicia Guzman, Teresa Ponce, Savannah Quintero, Juan Vega, Giselle Dominguez, and Henry and Javier Valdez. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay, like I said, a big list today. And uh, we've got news if you're ready. We do. We got a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and we know, do something for everybody this morning. And our little bit of this and our little bit of that today. It's California news headlines, and it is brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal, your year-round comfort specialist. California headline news from SoCal Edison rolling power outages in Southern California to try to prevent down power lines from starting fires there. Fred Fielding with LA County Fire urging people to be ready to evacuate should fire break out. Getting anything that's combustible away from your home, making sure that the vegetation has been cleared. And then the second step is having a plan. So knowing who's going to leave, uh, where you're going to go. Plant shutoffs allow power to be cut in areas where strong winds could damage electrical lines and spark fast-moving fires. Two children dead, two others hospitalized in Lancaster. I thought it is confirming the person of interest is the children's biological father. It's extremely difficult. This is traumatizing for everybody that's involved. The deputies are responded, the, um, all the parties involved, the investigators, everyone. President Daniel Biscari with the L.A. County Sheriff's Office saying deputies responded to a call about children being harmed. Governor Gavin Newsom back home in California after a week-long trip to China, wrapping up yesterday by touring a Tesla car factory in Shanghai. Jeff Scott, California News. And uh, our look at California news this morning brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, 
sizes, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California News Headlines brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal for repair for replacement. Call the experts. Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. What I know about courage, I learned from my adoptive mom. She said sometimes you just gotta hold on and know we'll get through this. Mom, we are so high up. Hold my hand. <laughs> no, you hold my hand. Here we go. Learn about adopting a teen from foster care. You can't imagine the reward. Visit AdoptUSKids.org to find out more. I learned patience from my adoptive dad. <sighs> All he had to say was, Hey, you got this. Just breathe. <sighs> hey. <laughs> hey! We're pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you might have to start a band. <laughs> I got it. Learn about adopting a teen for foster care. You can't imagine the reward. <laughs> Visit AdoptUSKids.org to find out more. This message is brought to you by Adopt US Kids, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and the Ad Council. And it's page one of the local news, page one of service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They have three locations in the valley. Quick Lane, ready to serve. Taking a look at the latest in local news uh, this morning, the El Centro Police responded to an early uh, Sunday morning report of a shot fired. The first call uh, came in at about 1.20 a.m. in the area of 6th and Main Streets in downtown El Centro. Witnesses told uh, arriving officers that there was a disturbance in the parking lot near the intersection and that a man had fired a shot in the air. Local uh, hospitals were asked if they had any gunshot victims in the emergency department of both facilities reported no uh, victims. Investigating uh, officers were able to recover one nine millimeter shell casing from the area. The suspect was reported as a Hispanic male wearing a white uh, shirt and uh, black pants last seen uh, eastbound uh, from the area of the disturbance investigators are reviewing a surveillance video for from a nearby business well an earthquake a 3.5 on the richter scale uh, uh to him hit this morning at uh, 5 31 a.m the quake uh, was uh, centered about 8.9 miles south southeast of Alpine, California. And a gun, a ghost gun found during an investigation. Police were investigating a weekend fight near Calexico High School. The fight involved students from Central Union High School and Calexico High School. In the investigation, Calexico police were looking for evidence in a nearby alley. They found a backpack with the ghost gun inside. The police have not released a lot of details, but say they have uh, been they have uh, been three arrests or there have been three arrests so far in the discovery the adults and a juvenile are in custody investigation is continuing kxo news time 742 how about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for El Centro Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs. And it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at ElCentroMotors.net. El Centro Motors mobile service vans. What a great idea. Continuing with more local news, Down Syndrome Association of Imperial Valley. They will be hosting their annual event on November the 4th. It will be uh, the 20th annual Imperial Valley Buddy Walk and Resource Fair. It will be held at Buckland Park in El Centro. The event offers a community walk to support and bring awareness of individuals with Down syndrome and others with special needs. The day will include entertainment, music, and a resource fair 
with uh, local agencies displaying and sharing their information. The resource fair starts at 8.30 in the morning. The buddy walk begins at 9 a.m. The entertainment starts at 9.45 a.m. The event will wrap up at 11 in the morning. That concludes this edition of Local News. Page two coming up. Page one of the Local News has been a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations to serve you. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. I didn't feel like I had anyone to turn to. Yeah, there was always lots of shouting going on. We moved maybe five or six times when I was little. Millions of us in California had hard experiences as kids that may have developed into something called toxic stress, which can lead to long-term health issues. I didn't realize how much it affected me physically, emotionally, everything, but I'm going to make sure my kids don't develop toxic stress too. Learn how parents can break the cycle at firstbrivecalifornia.com. And it's page two of the local news with weather, and it is brought to you this morning by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Well, following a, a tip, uh, Imperial County Sheriff's deputies recovered stolen property in uh, Salton City. Deputies responded to the 2200 block of Azure Avenue in Salton City on Friday afternoon. Deputies were given consent uh, to search the property and were able to uh, locate uh, several dirt bikes, off-road uh, equipment and tools, and an all-terrain vehicle. The items apparently taken... Uh, the night uh, before in a residential burglary, Richard Sager, 39, of uh, Salton City, uh, was arrested and booked at Imperial County Jail on several charges. The recovered property was uh, valued at $29,000. Well, El Centro Police responded to the report of a naked man Friday afternoon. Call came from a professional office in the 600 block of State Street at 145 uh, Friday afternoon. The bald man was said to be sitting on a stairway. No uh, weapons were seen on the nude suspect. The 42-year-old man was booked at Imperial County Jail after authorities discovered there was an outstanding uh, felony warrant or bench warrant for his arrest. Conditions in the Colorado River improved uh, as a voluntary reduction in water use takes effect. The plan put forth by the California, Arizona, and Nevada area to voluntarily reduce water use is uh, expected to keep the seven-state river basin stable, at least for the near future. The agreement and a good winter snowpack <clears throat> has resulted in raising water levels in Lake Powell and Lake Mead. The agreement was hammered out earlier this year after the federal government threatened to impose a strict water reductions across the board. Imperial Irrigation District Director J.B. Hamby, chairman of the Colorado River Board of California, said this is a victory for collaboration as an approach rather than conflict, which is where we started. California is responsible for more than half the cuts in water use and is expected to achieve the goal through implemented water uh, efficiency measures and following. District 4 supervisor will seek another term. Ryan Kelly made the announcement this week. The District 4 county supervisor is the current chairman of the Board of Supervisors before being elected to the county board. Kelly was a firefighter with the Brawley Fire Department, a paramedic for Bombay Beach, rescue uh, services, uh, emergency medical services administrator for Imperial County, facilities uh, 
director for the El Centro Regional Medical Center and logistics chief for the Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. As a county supervisor, Kelly lists his accomplishments as being a part of the settlement of the IID litigation on the QSA, holding uh, California responsible for salt and sea restoration adjustments to the solar benefit program and creation of the Lithian Valley uh, invest investment uh, benefit. Kelly said he lives by the principle of faith, family, and freedom, and those principles will be the basis of his campaign for re-election. Don't forget there's a blood drive coming up today, a uh, blood drive put on by uh, agent uh, for uh, Farmers Insurance, Steve Seibert, take place from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. today in the parking lot at 1241 State Street in El Centro. We'll be back with a look at the weather. My name is Shelly Wilkinson, and I am an Imperial Valley Food Bank board member. When locals need help feeding themselves and their families, they turn to the Imperial Valley Food Bank. As the main distribution center of donated food in Imperial County, we store, rescue, and purchase food in bulk to serve 25,000 people each month at over 30 locations. Help fight hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley by donating online at www.ivfoodbank.org. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. The National Weather Service says cool high pressure will moderate the next several days as near to below normal temperatures steadily warm into an above normal category. Chances of rain essentially zero through at least early next week. 75, the high in the valley on Sunday. 48, our overnight low. Sunny today with a high near 78. North wind about 10 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 52. North wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming west after midnight. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high near 79. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming north in the afternoon. 57 degrees, 36% our relative humidity. Wind out of the north-northwest 5 to 7 miles an hour. Page 2 of the local news brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. The second annual off-road show presented by the Off-Road Pit will be at the Imperial Valley Mall November 4th. KXO Radio and the Off-Road Pit are giving away tickets. When you hear the sound of the engine roar... Be the 10th caller. It's that easy. The second annual off-road show presented by the Off-Road Pit will be fun for the whole family. Doors open at 4 p.m. with lots of UTVs and off-road vehicles on display. Plus vendors, food, and drinks, including a beer garden. So keep listening to KXO when you hear the engine roar. Be the 10th caller and win. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. NFL action yesterday. The Cowboys whipped the Rams 43-20. Yeah, well, Royce Freeman did have a decent day, but when you're trailing like that, you don't get to run the ball much. Vikings over the Packers 24-10. Titans topped the Falcons 28-23. Saints ran past the, whole, the uh, Colts 38-27. Dolphins dumped the Patriots 31-17. Jets edged the Giants 13-10 in overtime. Jaguars jumped on the Steelers 20-10. Eagles over the Commanders 38-31. Panthers edged the Texans 15-13. Seahawks slew the Browns 24-20. Broncos beat up on the Chiefs 24-9. Ravens ripped the Cardinals 31-24. Bengals beat the 49ers 31-17. And the Chargers, uh, well, they took on the hapless Bears and won 30-13. Monday Night Football, the Raiders and the Lions tonight on FM 107.5. Also tonight, it's Game 3 of the World Series. The Rangers and the Diamondbacks will do it in uh, the desert.
Pioneer's Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneer's is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneer's Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. High school football action on Thursday in the Axe game. It was Holtville over Calipat 53-6. Friday night, Vincent Memorial, the city champions in Calexico with a 14-7 win over the Bulldogs. Imperial beat up on Southwest 52-20. And Central retained the bell with a tough one for the ages. The Spartans prevailed 14-7 over Brawley. So where's that leave uh, CIF action? The Vincent Memorial Catholic High School Scots will carry the number one seed in Division 5. The Scots will host the Valhalla Norsemen. Scots 7-3 on the year, while the Norsemen ended regular season play at 3-7. and seven. Also in Division 5, the Southwest Eagles, seeded number 7, will take to the road, and they'll play the Sweetwater Red Devils, the number 2 seed. In Division 4, number 8 seed Calexico will host the number 9 seeded Escondido Cougars. The Imperial Tigers are seeded number seven in Division Three. They'll host a familiar foe, the number 10 seed Valley Center Jaguars. In Division Two, the Brawley Wildcats are the number 10 seed. They will travel to San Diego to take on the Bishop School Knights. The Spartans earned the number six seed in Division Three. They will host number 11 seed Eastlake at Cal Jones Field. And in the newly created Division 5 AA, the Holtville Vikings are the number one seed. They have a bye. Number six, Calipat, will uh, travel to meet number three seed, Tri-City Christian. All games scheduled for Friday night with a kickoff at seven. And that's it for uh, Sports Time, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full color brochures, blueprints, and high speed copies to business forms and everything else in between imperial printers rocket copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing thank you for choosing locally owned and operated imperial printers rocket copy we have convenient locations near you at 430 west main street and 100 south 11th street in el centro and 184 south plaza in brawley and let's take a look at financial news and a brief look at the weather. And, uh, well, it is all brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Also home of uh, Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Heil, El Centro. United Auto Workers Union members strike against uh, General Motors appears to be over. They've come to a tentative agreement, according to a source familiar with the negotiations. This just two days after the union expanded the strike at the uh, nation's largest automaker. The uh, union went on strike against all three automakers September 15th, and uh, the three major automakers fell one by one. Speaking of falling, oil prices fell again today as concerns about the health of the global economy outweighed fears that Israel's move on the weekend to expand its military operations in Gaza could lead to a regional conflict. Brent crude, the uh, global oil benchmark fell 1.6%. West Texas Intermediate, the U.S. benchmark, dropped 1.9 percent. Richard Bronze, co-founder and head of geopolitics at Consultancy Energy Aspects, told CNN that the biggest reason for the declines was likely, likely to be market concerns 
about the health of the global economy and the implications for oil demand. So what's uh, shaking on the big board right now? The Dow up. 274 points at 32,691. The S&P 500 up 23 points at 41,39. The NASDAQ up 75 points at 12,718. Meanwhile, gold up $5.90 an ounce. Oil down $2.41 a barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hile in El Centro. Look for sunny skies today with a high near 78, north wind about 10 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 52, north wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming west after midnight. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high near 79, southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming north in the afternoon. And right now, downtown El Centro, we're looking at 54 degrees, 52% relative humidity, wind out of the northwest, 3 to 5 miles an hour. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services. They offer 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal. You'll find them at the corner of 4th and Hile in El Centro. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Tentative deal sealed. With the last of the big three, WWJ's Jeff Gilbert has our top story. GM and the UAW had been closing in on a deal late last week and apparently hit a snag of some sort over the weekend. The union gave GM a nudge by sending another plant in Spring Hill, Tennessee, out on strike. This tentative agreement should start sending those striking GM workers back to their jobs. They've been striking for six weeks now. Israeli troops and tanks have begun attacking the Gaza Strip from both sides. President Biden has added his voice to international calls to protect civilians. The National Security Council's John Kirby tells CBS Mornings. We are not evaluating each and every strike they take, and we're not going to react in real time to each and every operation that they conduct. We have been in constant communication with the Israelis to stress the importance of respect for innocent civilian life, to respect the law of war, and to minimize casualties to the maximum extent possible. Russian officials are condemning an incident at an airport in Dagestan, a most Muslim region in the country south. CBS is Holly Williams. Video posted on social media appears to show a frenzied mob storming the main airport, searching for Israeli passengers. Where did the passengers go? They yell at this airport staffer. I don't know. He tells them 20 people were injured. Former President Trump's eldest children are scheduled to testify at his civil fraud trial in New York City this week. Last night, a judge in his federal election tampering trial reimposed a gag order. Correspondent Scott McFarlane is in Washington. Federal Judge Tanya Chudkin says some of Donald Trump's social media posts, including one last week in which he focused on Mark Meadows, his former chief of staff, could be threatening or intimidating to witnesses. She said a criminal defendant's First Amendment rights are not unlimited. Trump has argued he's being targeted because he's a leading presidential candidate. Jury selection begins today in the trial of an ex-police officer involved in a high-profile death. CBS's Jim Crisula. Former Louisville police officer Brett Hankinson is facing a federal court trial of violating Breonna Taylor's civil rights during the botched 2020 police raid that left her dead. Hankinson fired into Taylor's apartment the night she was killed. He is one of four former officers who were charged by the U.S. Justice Department with violating the civil rights of the unarmed 26-year-old black woman. The Dow is up 308 points right now. Make that 320. S&P ahead 22. This is CBS News.
You don't need a job platform, you need a hiring partner. Indeed lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from one place. Start at indeed.com slash credits. Now. Now your ideas don't have to wait. Now they have everything they need to come to life. Dell Technologies and Intel are creating technology that loves ideas, loves expanding your business, evolving your passions. We push what technology can do. So great ideas can happen right now. Find out how to bring your ideas to life at Dell.com. Welcome to now. For the ones who get it done, the most important part is the one you need now. And the best partner is the one who can deliver. That's why millions of maintenance and repair pros trust Granger, Because we have professional-grade supplies for every industry, even hard-to-find products. And we have same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders. But most importantly, we have an unwavering commitment to help keep you up and running. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Have kids? That's a yes. This recall may affect you. More than 115,000 Costco jump, spin, and play activity centers that were sold exclusively at Walmart have been recalled due to a fall hazard. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says the company that makes the product, Durrell, has received 141 complaints of the straps breaking or becoming detached with at least 38 minor injuries like bumps, bruises, and scratches. Anyone who owns a toy is advised to stop using the product immediately and contact Durrell for a free replacement. Listen closely and you'll hear Broncos fans jabbing Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs after Denver snapped a 16-game losing streak. <laughs> They blasted none other than Kelsey's girlfriend, Taylor Swift, singing Shake It Off after their 24-9 victory on CBS. Taylor wasn't there to cheer her bow on, and she's been at four recent games. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. You've got Carol Buckley with the best oldies on the radio. Oh, I like it. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> 